Your wound is still not healing. Mm -hmm. My readings indicate you were exposed to an extra universal material that destroys positive matter on contact. A substance known as antimatter. Antimatter, that's new. It's a wall of this stuff clogging up the speed force. Gideon, how do I get past it? Not without additional assistance. Fortunately, there's an expert in the field, Dr. Jay Garrick, formerly known as the Flash of Earth 3. Good to see you again, Barry. You too, Jay. You were right. You were hit with a dose of pure antimatter. Lucky you have speed healing or that scratch could have wiped you out of existence. So is there a way that I can time travel past the barrier? You want to tell me why the hell you were time traveling to begin with? I needed to see for myself if the monitor was telling the truth about what happened to me. And I know what you're going to say about time traveling. Actually, I was going to tell you you made the right call. For the past year, I've been detecting antimatter signatures across the multiverse. Now, we don't know their origin, but if my algorithm is correct, all Earths could be in danger. Then we have to find a way to break through that wall. Ah, your body never could. But maybe your mind can. I built this thing years ago. The Neural Hyper Collider. It harnesses neural electricity and transfers it across superluminal particles. Therefore, projecting human consciousness across space-time. You could send someone's mind past the antimatter wall. Not just anyone. It's got to be a speedster. In his prime. You in? Yeah. Then let's hustle. I've already had to postpone my dinner plans. Not any further, I hope. Barry, I'd like you to meet my wife, Dr. Joan Williams. It is a pleasure to meet you, Barry Allen. I've heard quite a bit about you. 